Hey you guys, what's up? Sasha here. Welcome back to the last video of this series. This is the love language series and I'm back with my fiance Mark and we are going to take a test. First we're going to guess and see which love languages we are or what we think we are and then we're going to actually take the test to find out for real. Now we just finished re finished recently with our premarital counseling mm -hmm. and um, we were supposed to take this quiz but we kind of got busy. He went out of town. So we're going to do it right now in this video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that red button. Subscribe to my channel. Join the family. It would mean the world to me. Don't forget to also follow me on my social media. Everything is always down below or on the screen. You guys can do that. I'm really really good at Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Roll that bumper intro. Okay. All right guys, so I'm going to read the five languages to Mark and then see what he thinks, see what language he thinks he is. Okay. So, there are five. There's words of affirmation, mm -hmm. there's physical touch, receiving gifts, quality time, and acts of service. So, based on just hearing names of them, which one? Like, pick two that you think you are. I'll say physical touch and... Uh, I'll say quality time. Ooh, I dropped my pen. Oh. Okay. Alright, so, so physical touch and quality time. Quality time. Okay, I think mine's I think mine's is I think one of mine's is words of affirmation and quality time. So we're gonna go ahead and take the test. So alright, let's go ahead and do the quiz. Alright, I'm gonna do some video on my phone so you guys can see. And let Mark go first. Since you're the guest. Okay. Here's the computer. Okay, let me record you. Uh, like on my phone. Alright. So go ahead. Hit what? Learn your love language. I Hit think. it? Uh-huh. Myself. Relationship. Why did I tell you with press? Because what if I want to be single? <laughs> almost! We almost there. We got 48 days. We get married in 48 days. Crazy. Wait, what, what, what am I looking for? The United States? You're not from Uganda. Yeah, I am. Babe! Oh my gosh. Look. Take, it's taking the same amount of time. No, because you weren't getting there. Where's that? Up here. Okay. So, do I read this out? Or? Okay, you can read some of these. Okay, so. This says, it's more meaningful to me when I receive a loving note slash text slash email for no special reason for my loved one. Or my partner and I hug. So, you pick which one. Is more meaning to it's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with my partner, just do just the two of us, or my partner does something practical to help me out. It's more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a little gift as a token of our love for each other, or I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with my partner. It's more meaningful to me when my partner unexpectedly does something for me like filling my car or doing the laundry or it's more meaningful when my partner and I touch. Okay guys, so some some type of questions like that. I'm going to let Mark go ahead and finish up and then we'll be back with his results because we sit here and let him record the whole thing and then I got to do it. It's going to take a minute. So we'll be right back. Oops. Okay guys, we're back. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. we're kind of eating some chips while Mark was doing this. Okay, <laughs> so it says, Hello guys, okay, scores. so the highest scores means you use 
those two love languages the most. Right. The lower scores indicate those love <laughs> languages that you rarely use. Right. Okay? And which probably don't affect you very much on an emotional level. All right. And it's important to remember, you may have scored more highly on certain love languages than others, but do not dismiss those other ones because they are insignificant. Your partner may express love in those ways, and it will be helpful to you to understand this about him or her. So Mark's, basically Mark's, what? You got seven? <laughs> you got three high scores? Yeah. What the? All right, Mark's three high scores were acts of service. I was like, is it recording? Which, like doing things around the house, helping out clean. Um, the words he or she most want to hear is let me do that for you. Okay, so that's one of his. And then the second one is physical touch, which he thought. Physical touch just means not surprisingly very touchy. Like hand, like he likes hugs, he likes put pats on the back, he likes holding hands. He always, like when he's talking, he always has to like tap me. You saw it that time. <laughs> so he like always taps me or is always rubbing me when we like mm -hmm. when he's having a conversation so i had a feeling he was physical touch and then his third highest one was quality time which he said and quality time basically is i already explained all of these to you guys i don't mm -hmm. know why i'm reading it over but you guys just in case it just means like spending time together with your significant other with no distractions mm -hmm. um and you like your undivided attention which yeah you do kind of get annoyed when i'm like on my phone and we're trying to spend time together and then his least ones were words of affirmation and gifts so i'm gonna do mine and it'll be a little quicker this time because you kind you guys gotta get the gist of what each love language is so i'm gonna go ahead and take my test and then see what i get so stay tuned okay guys here are my scores so <clears throat> What? It's, it's like in order. Oh, eight, seven, six, five, four. Yeah. Okay, so my top score was quality time, mm -hmm. which I thought was correct. I like spending time with him, even if we're not doing anything. I just like him here. I just like his presence. And then number seven is words of affirmation, which is, yeah, I like. Did you have words of affirmation? Mm, Yours was yeah, a lower no. one, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll read words of affirmation one more time. Um, it's like actions don't always speak louder than words. If this is your love language, unsolicited compliments mean the world to you. Hearing words like I love you are important, hearing the reason why, and things like that. Being kind, positive, and encouraging. So lots of words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. And then my, mine's like, it's like a point off. And then number six, for six points I got acts of service, which I didn't think it would be that high, but. I thought gifts would be higher. And then after that is gifts, and then after that is physical touch. <laughs> it's, I think when we were younger, I liked physical touch, like holding hands and things like that. But now I'll be like, can you I'll be, not? I'll be I'll be like, you. Can, can you get, get off of me? Mm -hmm. Can you not tap me while you talk? Well, yeah. I'm trying to hug you. like. I'm trying to take the test, and he's like, I'm like, can you get off of me? I cannot <laughs> concentrate. So, yeah, guys, that is our things. What? I can't think straight, guys. We just came from church, and you know, it, was be, it, be, it was so good. Like it was baptized weekend, and it was mm -hmm. so good. So many people got baptized, and so much more because it's still going on. They still have a couple more services to do, but um, yeah, I'm super excited that we got to film this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Right, babe? What yeah. do you think? Did it help you realize things or put things more into? Um, yeah, just a little. I already know I like quality times and physical touch. What about me, for me? For you? Um. You think it's gonna help? Help what, like? You knowing my love language for certain. Um. Yeah, it does help. That means no. He's gonna do the same thing. No. <laughs> it helps. Mm -hmm. Like quality time, which I know that. And words. See, he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what do you mean? Words of affirmation, and then. I don't well, need to know all those. Just the top two. Okay. All right. So yeah, 
thank you guys so so much for watching this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't seen my last video it'll be here on the screen in a few seconds and yeah thank you guys so so much in my next video i think i'm gonna be talking about my music journey so from where i started all the way up into what am i doing now so if you want to see that mm -hmm. stay tuned for next week and i'll see that. you guys later deuces bye